Every father to a little girl knows just how precious that relationship is. Unconditional love. The second that that little girl comes into your life, everything changes. Sure, we make mistakes along the way, but our hearts always lie in the hands of those little girls. Never has that been so apparent to me as it has been watching my friend Jason and his daughter Bailey, watching them hunt and grow together over the last decade. No one was ready, the least of which could have been Bailey, when the worst came true. When just days after her 15th birthday, her father Jason was killed in a plane accident tearing him from her life. Nothing could describe the pain, and not just from losing Jason, but from standing back and watching young Cole and Bailey. Watching them trying to find out why, trying to understand, trying to make sense. All questions there was just no answers to, and it all seemed so unfair for them, and it was. Bailey was handling it all so strong, so courageously, showing us yet again what an incredible mature young lady she's becoming. And just weeks later, it was the start of whitetail season, and I didn't know what Bailey was going to do. I didn't know if she was going to come to hunt deer. I didn't know if Bailey was ever going to want to hunt again. But Bailey knew. Watching Bailey just enjoy the night, a night unlike I've maybe ever had in the deer stand, made me realize that maybe shooting a deer wasn't the reason Bailey was here in this stand. Ready? Day 11 felt different, Bailey seemed different, and something told me today, today to be ready. The deer began moving early and when this buck looked clear to the back fence, we both seen him. It was the bulge beam eight point from the stealth cam photos. Still 150 yards away but headed our direction fast, though I noticed Bailey still just watching, not even reaching for her bow. the buck closer still, I looked over and seen what I'd been waiting for. All Bailey needed now was a clear shot. Bailey shot our deer last night and uh, he bedded down by the fence here right until dark, eh? Mm -hmm. We thought he was down. After we talked, we looked, he had his head up. He put his head down, he put his head up, he put his head down. We looked at the shot again and realized how far back it was, so we just left him overnight. Our track job was pretty anticlimactic because he made it through the fence apparently at some point, but he's only about 10 feet on their side, so. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy for you, Bailey. Thank you for taking me out. Well, Spent lots of nights coming. with me. <laughs> It was sure a lot of fun. We got to sit a few different stands and see a lot of, you got to see so many deer. That there's not like we weren't seeing deer, but just waiting. <laughs> How fortunate was I to be able to spend so much time this fall with Bailey and witness again firsthand the truth that I already knew in all the times that Jason would tell me how special, mature, responsible, and incredible she is. How proud of Bailey Jason must be and how desperate he would be to fill the hole left in her heart when he passed. This hunt brought as much healing for me, or maybe more, than for Bailey, as her and Jason are one and the same and it brought back so many memories of hunting with my friend. Would have said goodbye If I knew I was going 
would have hugged you twice. Did you have a good time? <laughs> but listen, Daddy had a great time with you. Coming. Now I hear you telling God that it's not fair. You shot your first tear at your ball. To finally, finally sit with my daughter. Choked up, but, uh, I'm just not close enough. Oh, it's a lot of fun to sit with these kids and grab Thank you, Daddy. That is a beautiful face. <laughs> awesome. Oh, B. <laughs> Way to hold it together. <laughs> Right on. Good job, little girl.